Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, uh, right now I've got this uh, file which I've opened from the samples here. So you can generally, uh, you have four different sample files. You can download this meat mat, which is a substance painter file. and um, right now I just want to explore this tool uh, called add layer and also uh, the brush uh, features so first let's start with uh, this add uh, fill layer which we have seen in the previous video so this will add up a layer okay and then I just wanted to give it a color fair enough so what I'm going to do is I just wanted to explore uh, the other feature which is add a layer so what's the difference is let's say when you are adding a fill layer it has completely filled that particular object which you are painting like right now it is head and then it has filled with a color and it has filled with uh, the metallic value which you have picked and uh, the height all that is basically completely occupying this object okay so uh, if I just select that layer again and then pick some color and I'm deleting it now if I add a layer it adds a layer which has nothing filled here but whatever you paint in that layer will have the values which you are going to control now here let's say I'm adding a stroke the stroke is white okay it is a non-metallic stroke and it is uh, glossy and it has some bump let me try this now let me increase the metallic value and then paint it you should able to see that I have created a bump and then you are getting that nice uh, glossy to that and if I just explore the metallic this is metallic and that is non-metallic because it was applying uh, by the time we were painting it so if I increase the roughness a little bit and then it's uh, more like aluminium and when I do this it's more like a steel okay uh, so right now we have the brush here okay and uh, the brush has a lot of settings in it uh, you can see this on the top and also you can see here in the properties so starting with the size okay uh, size of the brush can be changed using the keyboard shortcuts that is the brackets just like what you do in Photoshop so when you're uh, preferring a straight line click the stroke hold shift and then click again okay so first click it then hold shift and then you get a line put that line anywhere and then you get this straight lines there okay so I'll be deleting that layer add a new layer and then again this time let's change the color to green and let's add a metallic value so that's nice or green now uh, we can use the pen tablet here so the flow feature is on I'm just making it on so this uh, now what that actually uh, box is doing is it is now working for your pen tablet and uh, let's say if you could see I'm getting a very thin line and when I'm, I'm getting a thick line and it's completely depend on the way I'm putting the pressure on the um, um, pen here so slighter stroke is giving me a very thin stroke hardly if I'm pressing I'm getting a thick stroke <coughs> and uh, if I can generally um, explore more about you got the stroke opacity 
and then this will give a very light stroke and then it gives a very opaque stroke I mean it's transparent it's opaque based on the pen pressure what I am putting there so I can generally put a very light and less opacity and very hard and strong opacity um, valued strokes there while I'm painting so this features can be switched on or off we have spacing option and it's uh, very useful when I'm adding that kind of rivets um, so if I have got a very uh, screw type shape I can generally use them for example I want to put screws and I'm just changing the color here to the gray value I just wanted it to be um, now what I need to do is just go to the alpha section here and then choose any alpha you have in this particular uh, library okay so if you don't have any alpha you know how to import them just import that and then you can get that screws okay so let me reduce the size and then reduce the spacing and then you should able to see that nice rivets coming on uh, and again the rivets uh, is controlled by alpha as you are able to see it okay so explore all the alphas or you can create your custom alpha and bring it and then you can get the result and uh, we have a nice option here called flow path I'll just go to this flow path option I'll make it on and uh, I'll also change the alpha to arrow max and I'll just uh, click and drag it and you should able to see the arrows are rotating itself based on the curvature okay if I switch this uh, uh, flow path option off and then rotate it all arrows are facing in one single direction okay so let me switch on the flow path and then go to the option called angle let me see the angle option here and angle I'll rotate 90 degrees and then all the arrows are facing in the direction of the stroke and the angle is generally useful there and uh, we have uh, options like uh, size jitter flow jitter angle jitter and position jitter now what all these do uh, flow jitter oh, sorry uh, size jitter if you could see when I increase the value of that okay and then when I paint a stroke every time the stroke which is dropping there is getting a different size there and uh, flow is basically it is the intensity uh, or opacity of the stroke and when I'm doing that I'm getting less intense and more intense strokes while I'm working with the flow we have angle jitter which is basically giving a randomized angle of the arrows here position jitter will scatter the brushes okay then you can play with the spacing uh, also when you're doing it and that gives a spray brush effect there okay so you can in a combination adjust these strokes and then you can get fantastic results there so we have angle uh, which can be controlled we have spacing we have stroke opacity we have flow we have size options there we have flow path we have size flow angle position jitters let's explore the alignment here which is uh, you could see camera tangent and uh, UV so uh, generally what happens you know when you click a stroke on something um, the if you could see the brushes play uh, flat to the screen and when I click it just drops that stroke onto the model so just when I click this like that it will drop and uh, sometimes generally the curvature keeps changing 
and then you could see that kind of effect there because it's just throwing that stroke on that as that uh, surface is taking a turn and uh, the camera was not able to see that faces and you got that uh, stroke not filling that area and uh, you can try this side also when you uh, click a stroke which is uh, you could see th cutting through the angles and then what happens is that strokes are not correctly uh, filled so what we have to do is we have to change this alignment to the, to the wrap and then when we click this this time okay that is perfectly filling that stroke you can try on this side of the stroke also and it wraps that so it's like brush takes over the curvature of the surface and you won't get that fading effect while you're doing this kind of as uh, 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 pre uh, you know feature so we got a tangent planar which is again uh, it is like it orients the um, stroke according to the curvature but it does not wrap as good as the wrap feature so this gives again the same fading effect when you are doing um, painting on the curvatured model okay so it's slightly uh, between camera and tangent trap feature it's half the way and um, we have this feature called uv okay now uv feature is like your brush strokes are not respond uh, respecting the 3d space they're respecting the texture space so when i generally paint something in the viewport and just click that stroke it has painted only to this part not respecting the outer cover here and the reason is when I was like uh, uh, painting here so it's only painting this area generally if I choose it to the wrap click there it paints there and it also paints here because it's respecting the viewport whereas uh, if I click here it only gets the texture uh, stroke here only okay and uh, it's not giving that stroke there so that's something really nice about this uh, feature here which is called alignment then we have the uh, size space we have object viewport and texture let's have a look on that too so uh, we have object space okay so when we click a stroke and then zoom out and then click a stroke the size of the stroke is same okay but when I change this to viewport okay the brush size okay right now is big right or let me put it to small I just click that stroke okay you got this result and zoom out and then click the stroke you could see you got a bigger one this time why right? because it's not uh, scaling the brush size it's keeping the same and your object became small in respect to the brush size so you're, you you're not getting a small size brush there so you can generally choose object and then no matter how small you go the brush size become that small so we have this uh, texture space which is again if I go to the um, 2d space okay so when i click and then zoom out you see the brush size is uh, scaling with that let me see if i do that you should able to see the the brush size is not changing but when i put it to the object it's changing based on the surface of the object here so in texture space it's just uh, no matter how big or small it just uh, keeps the brush size same in respect to the UVs okay so that's object and that's camera uh, we have back face culling back face culling um, on generally when you are painting on normal 
maps and uh, the normals which are facing away from the camera will not be painted because you kept that back face culling on and you can control how much angle that back face culling should be and that's uh, about the um, back face culling and I will just go with this uh, let me pick a uh, different uh, stroke here I think I'll just uh, take this one okay and uh, when I add this uh, stroke you should able to see that nice stroke is coming and I'll just go here and then change the angle of the brush to 90 degrees and then you get that stroke and then I'll increase the spacing just for the stitching effect and also I'll just enable flow path and then it get, you get that nice stitching now when you are painting stitching okay what you should do is you should enable a feature which is called um, lazy mouse enable that and put a distance okay so if you click there and then drag the stroke after certain time the stroke start getting give you the result and why this lazy mouse is used you know if you have to paint some uh, stitching and uh, your hands can give you a, a result which is quite jerky so to get a steady stroke you can generally use lazy mouse feature it's a very um, nice feature for drawings uh, steady strokes which generally not not possible with your normal mode of painting <coughs> okay so I'll just go to the body here and then we have something called um, symmetry okay so for that again I'll just go to a fill layer then just uh, give a color so you got a body and then um, when I am painting something okay I got the brush uh, let me choose some different stroke here no, no, okay this one and then you get this okay so when you're painting this okay I, I want a very similar effect happening on to the other side and you can enable uh, this symmetry and then when you paint you get that perfect symmetry going on there okay you might be thinking uh, uh, what if if I want to change the symmetry direction okay let's say I'll just choose the base add a fill layer and then a paint layer <coughs> you can see you, you're getting the symmetry on this side but what if I want to paint on the other symmetry other angle symmetry then you need to click this button and then you can say I want to change the symmetry to a different axis okay so you click that and then you just uh, have different options here one is the uh, move tool and then you can move that symmetry anywhere just uh, we have this button click that and drag it okay now whatever you paint it paints on both sides of this uh, plane there like that so you can keep painting the result there on that angle of symmetry and if you have multiple symmetries okay it's not working it only wo it's working on only one axis and then you have a, a feature called show plane which you could see here and then you can again move that uh, handle anywhere you want
you can go here and then just put the value of 0 to keep it to the center show intersection show plane okay show intersection show plane and uh, we have show cursor option which is there uh, while we are painting um, it is showing the cursor on both sides if you could see carefully okay and then you have uh, in the symmetry a radial symmetry okay in radial symmetry we have uh, different axis so I'm choosing the Z symmetry here and then when I paint it uh, I think I need to take a okay I should be able to see when I'm painting this uh, it's happening in all sides I took the radial symmetry and I've got five uh, faces okay you can increase this uh, counts here is it five one two three four five six okay six sides so I can increase the sides here and then you get uh, more uh, symmetry coming there like that I think I need to take uh, okay um, it's not working 12 okay 11 a and uh, sorry there is an angle issue uh, this angle should be 360 and then just put that to 12 okay show axis um, and uh, show cursor okay now you should be able to see that's the radial symmetry for you okay you can uh, start painting more complicated floral designs uh, for your requirements so you have radial symmetry and you got a um, X uh, mirror symmetry okay you have both features you can explore them and get the suitable results uh, as per your requirement so uh, when you're painting stitches and all you know uh, how to do it now and you want you want symmetry you want straight lines you want um, to cre create your custom brushes everything is possible here just by simple settings okay you can search by keywords here uh, because you have clicked the brushes it's a search filter already on for the brushes search the name and then good to go for uh, uh, you know the brushes feature there 